Imagine waking up to find your mortgage payment slashed and your savings account earning less interest. What if we told you this isn't a dream, but the current financial reality in Canada? Welcome to Obey TV, where we break down the latest in finance, making sure you're always in the know. Stay tuned to learn how recent interest rate changes could impact your finances and what you should do next. Hello Obey TV family. Today we're diving deep into the recent interest rate changes by the Bank of Canada and what they mean for you. Whether you're a homeowner, a potential buyer, or just someone looking to save, this video is packed with valuable insights tailored for you. Over the past year, the Bank of Canada has made significant moves in its interest rate policy. As of June 5, 2024, the Bank of Canada reduced its policy rate by 25 basis points, bringing it down to 4.75%. This was the first rate cut since the pandemic, aimed at stimulating the economy amidst slowing growth and easing inflationary pressures. Earlier in the year, the bank had held its rate steady at 5% for several months, marking a cautious approach towards monetary easing. This shift signifies a critical juncture as Canada navigates through economic recovery, with inflation projected to ease below 2.5% in the latter half of 2024 and stabilize at around 2% by 2025. The recent drop has been a relief for many. For instance, fixed mortgage rates, which are influenced by bond yields, have seen a corresponding dip. Five-year government bond yields a benchmark for these mortgages fell to approximately 3.4%. This decrease in borrowing costs is anticipated to spur housing market activity. Although it's a double-edged sword, as increased demand could drive home prices higher. Now, for those of you with variable rate mortgages, our advice is to hold steady. You've already weathered the storm of high rates. By holding on, you stand to benefit from any future rate cuts, reducing your overall borrowing costs over time. Historically, variable rates tend to outperform fixed rates over long periods, offering more flexibility and potential savings as rates continue to drop, according to the Bank of Canada. For those considering entering the housing market, now might be a strategic time. With rates beginning to decline, opting for a variable rate mortgage or a short-term fixed rate could be advantageous. These options provide the flexibility to benefit from further rate cuts, which many analysts predict will continue as the economy stabilizes. Why choose variable or short-term fixed rates? One, potential for further rate drops. Enjoy lower payments if rates decrease. Two, flexibility, the ability to refinance more easily if rates drop significantly. Three, lower costs, avoid locking in high rates long term. Let's look at some numbers. The current policy rate stands at 4.75%, down from the peak of 5%. The bond market's response has been favorable with yields decreasing, which directly influences mortgage rates. According to RBC, even with these cuts, the impact on the broader economy may be more subdued than previous cycles due to the already high level of household debt and housing prices. Thank you for tuning in to Obey TV. 
Remember, staying informed is your best strategy in navigating financial changes. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Share your thoughts in the comments. We love hearing from you. And for more detailed insights, visit the links in the description below. Stay smart, stay informed, and see you in the next video. Here's a list of our references. 1. Financial Post, Bank of Canada Rate Cuts and Economic Impact. 2. Bloomberg, Fiera CEO on Bank of Canada's Path to 3% Rate. 3. RBC, Understanding Interest Rates. 4. Investopedia, Variable Rate Mortgages. 5. Bank of Canada, Key Interest Rate.